Ah, hi, friend. Welcome to today's Ascension Update. My name is Makai Miracle. I'm the co creative accelerator light healing, and I'm super excited to be here with you today to share some information on how to have more inner peace. Inner peace is a big topic in the spiritual communities, especially the Buddhist communities, the meditation communities, the yoga communities, inner peace, presence. Not worrying about the future, not ruminating on the past. It's been totally present and relaxed in the present moment. You're not afraid, you're not stressing. You don't have massive amounts of adrenaline rushing through your body, you're just really present, enjoying the moment, enjoying the bliss of the moment, enjoying the infinite bliss. And that can be your natural state. Are you like Micaiah? That's not always my natural state. <laughs> well, it is your natural state. Anything that's not that is not your natural state. It's an illusion that you've created or chosen. And what's your biggest block to her peace? Your attachment to drama. Now, if you're in the Western culture, you have been bombarded with images and stories of drama probably since you were a baby. I can imagine most parts of the world that have televisions, it is the same. You've been fed an illusion that the way the world works is through drama. The natural way of the world is drama. It is not. Drama is an illusion. It is false. It is a choice. When you live in 3D. At a fifth dimensional level and higher, drama cannot exist. You are in a state of knowing oneness, knowing that everything is one, and that includes you in every moment. Therefore, why would you ever create any drama? You'd just be creating drama with yourself. Hmm. You meditate, or you do healing work, or maybe you do hypnotherapy or yoga. You know that during those experiences and afterwards, you're pretty, you're generally pretty blissed out, pretty focused, pretty centered, feeling a lot of inner peace. In the emerald tablets of thoughts. The um, Egyptian texts on the spiritual laws of the universe. You hear a lot about the law of attraction. I think it's number five. 
But there's also number six, which is the law of vibration. And they're both related. They're pretty much both saying whatever you vibrate is what your reality will be. You vibrate that into your reality. It becomes your reality. And if you vibrate drama, that becomes your reality. So the first pattern to untangle is gossip. You need to talk about drama. And not even just like what we think of as gossip, like, hey, did you hear what that person did with that person? And oh my gosh, and how it affected that other person? Oh, ah. All your judgments about that. That's the first thing to untangle. Why don't we do some clearance? So in Accelerated Light Healing, we have a tool called RICH, R-I-C-H, it stands Release, Integrate, Clear, and Harmonize. I'm not going to explain it right now. If you'd like to learn more about the tool, go to my website, makaimiracle.com, click the RICH and RACE tools, and there's a video and article explaining the tools. All you need to know is RICH is for clearing limiting beliefs and having unstuck painful emotions like that. So everything that makes you want to, feel the need to, or be compelled to gossip or talk about other people's drama or share other people's drama. Everything all that is and everywhere you're unwilling to let all that go and everywhere you're locking all that into your body, lock, clear, and rich. Ah. Oh. Yeah. That's not useful and it probably doesn't have anything to do with the present moment. People can take care of their stuff without you judging it. I promise. Doesn't mean you can't contribute if if you feel called to, but you definitely don't need to judge it. You don't need to get other people to help you judge it. But you're like, well, Micaiah, what would I talk to anybody about if we're not talking about other people's drama and judgment? I'm not sure. I don't talk a lot <laughs> because of that. <laughs> Connecting on drama does not interest me in the slightest. I just smile and let people get out what they need to get out. I let it pass right through me. Hmm. Everywhere you feel that the only way to connect with people is through drama or talking about drama or talking about other people's drama or judgments or pain or suffering, separation, everything all that is and everywhere you're unwilling to let all that go and everywhere you're locking all that into your body. Unlock, clear, and rich. Rah! Yeah. All right, so now that gossip's gone, what's the next level to this? You're feeling all this inner peace after doing healing, yoga, getting a massage, whatever it is. You're blissed out, you're peaceful. What takes you out of it? Your entertainments that are based on drama. Oh, like Micaiah, that's most of my entertainments. <laughs> <sighs> oh. 
You've been trained that that's natural. Entertainments that are based on drama raise your adrenaline level, raise your cortisol levels, which is the stress hormone in the body. That's not natural. That's not supposed to be happening unless you're being chased by a tiger or you're in a house that's burning down. <laughs> But TV networks and movie um, networks, conglomerates, producers, they hire psychologists to determine how to push your buttons in the way that's going to create the most adrenaline and the most cortisol, the biggest stress response, so you become addicted to the show. It's no different than being addicted to a drug. With some people, it's a harder addiction to break. And in no manner am I saying TV or movies are bad or wrong, or that you have to stop watching them. What I'm saying is that you will get to a point where you'll real you'll become aware that. they are vibrating at a different level than your inner peace. And when you try to engage with them, you'll go back down to that level. And at some point on your spiritual journey, that will become too uncomfortable for you to maintain anymore. And you'll do it and you'll be like, oh, I don't feel very good. And then you'll go back to your spiritual practice and you'll go back higher and like, yeah, I feel great. I'm blissing out. I'm good. And maybe you'll do that for a while and then you're like, I'm going to watch some TV. Oh, why do I feel so crappy? Okay. And then you'll go back to your practice for a little while and create and it's feeling great. And it's great. And then you, you'll be like, well, maybe I can keep my presence and awareness for the TV or the video game, whatever it is. And then you'll realize that your vibration is low and it just doesn't feel good. And at some point you'll break the pattern and just be like, you know what? I don't need that stuff anymore. It's not contributing to my inner peace. It's not making me, not allowing me to stay in the state of infinite bliss that I know is possible, that I am, that is my infinite natural state. And you don't have to judge yourself for when that happens. And you don't have to judge yourself if you're not there yet. And, and those things are, um, you know, perceivably bringing you joy and comfort and relaxation. That's fine. There have been points in my life where I have needed that. And that's okay. When you get to the point where it's not working for you anymore, that's when you want to let it go. So everywhere you're resisting that, and everywhere you're unwilling to do that, everywhere you're unwilling to let all that go, and everywhere you locked you know, all that into your body, unlock, clear, and rich. <sighs> Reality reset. And you're like, Micaiah, I'm not watching TV or playing video games or reading newspaper. What am I going to do with my life? What's left? <laughs> Anything that contributes to your inner peace. Anything that can create the expansion of your infinite bliss. Usually that falls into three categories, connection, other beings, people, animals, plants, nature, earth. It's 
spiritual practice, whatever that is for you. It's meditation or yoga or chanting or singing or receiving healing activations. Going to retreats, dancing, static dance. And then the third category, creative activity, creative stuff, whatever that is for you that brings you joy and bliss, making music, making art, making things like woodworking, writing, And you could put charity or doing service work as a fourth category for that. That will generally contribute to your inner peace. Either taking the hours with your body and doing charity work or donating money to charity, which is just as effective to contribute to inner peace as actually doing the charity work because either way it's all just energy being being contributed to to those situations or donating your creativity maybe your music maybe you sew or knit donating that stuff to charity too Your life can, can feel fulfilled sustainably. Your life can sustainably feel be fulfilled. Allow yourself to be present with, with everything in the moment. Ah. <sighs> Beautiful. Let's see, astrology this week. The night of November 23rd is the new moon. And then early in the morning on the 24th, so pretty much the same period, is Jupiter is going direct. It's coming out of retrograde. And that means a call to freedom. Of freedom. So for the new moon and Jupiter going direct, night of the 23rd. Dream big. Set, set financial or career goals. Expand your spiritual practice. Step out of your comfort zone. And most of all, celebrate. The theme of this new moon is also abundance. So setting big new financial career goals, intentions will be very effective this new moon. <sighs> Yay. So this week I am doing a class called your 5D Ascended Master Initiation. So this class is very powerful. I used to only share this activation with my most advanced students and I was just being guided to share it with whoever felt called to come and receive. In this activation, we travel to an ascended universe, to an ascension temple in the ascended universe and receive 
an ascension initiation there from the master beings in the ascended universe. It's very powerful, very intense, very life-changing. So if that sounds exciting to you, there will be a link in the, in the description below the video to come play with that. And if you're watching this video at a later date, the replay will be available at that link also. Ah. Thank you so much for being here, friend. If you like this video, click the like button, click the subscribe button. Uh, I share Ascension updates every week. Sometimes I just come on live to play, have fun. Oh, there's also a free gift in the description, a free fifth dimensional Ascension activation. So uh, MP3, so come check that out. Thank you so much. I love you. I look forward to playing with you again soon.